What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Friday the 13th game video. Today we are going over an overwhelming amount of information because just a few hours ago Friday the 13th game completely revamped their website and while it does look much better and much more professional, the most exciting element that came from the new website was the crazy amount of new information that came with it, including DLC news and some patch notes for future updates. We have a lot to go over here so buckle up, here we go. First of all, the website banner says, A New Beginning. Fans of the films will realize real quickly that this is a title of Friday the 13th Part 5, and since rumors have already been spreading around about Part 5 Jason, or Roy, being added to the game due to those blue dot pictures, this has people even more excited. That became even more relevant when a new icon on their website shows that a new playable Jason is coming soon with their very own exclusive kills. Now when you click on it, the site reads, more information on this Jason will be available once announced, come back soon for more details. Now I know a lot of people are thinking Roy, but now with the second blue dot picture coming out, it appears to be something other than Roy, possibly counselor related, but we'll cover more on that as it is revealed. My best guess for the new Jason is of course Jason X, but obviously nothing has been confirmed at this time. But with a new Jason coming, one is indeed leaving, at least for now. Retro Jason is taking a temporary leave of absence since they are working out some kinks, saying, We're going to be removing Retro Jason just for a little TLC work. Don't freak out, it will only be a month or so. We have some plans for this Jason, as we will be adding new music that both the counselor and Jason hear during gameplay. And trust us, you'll like the results. Now this is some exciting news as well, since Retro Jason was needing a bit of a revamp, especially with the new music that Jason hears. Hopefully, it comes with his very own kills as well. We will have to see though. Now the next line of news on the site is for a new counselor clothing pack, but not just any clothing pack. This is the Spring Break 1984 clothing pack, which is a swimsuit pack. Now the site reads, it's spring break at Camp Crystal Lake and the counselors have decided to break out their trunks and bikinis. That's right, campers, introducing the Spring Break 1984 swimsuit clothing pack. Now this DLC will not be free, but unlike the $9 clothing pack we saw during the Kickstarter, this one is only $4 at its regular price, but for a temporary time, you can get it for just $2. Now at this time, there is no release date for this pack, but it does say available soon. I know we are all excited to rock La Chapa in his new swimsuit attire, can't wait for that. Speaking of counselors, we are getting new ones. That's right, two more counselors are on the way. The site reads, Two new counselors added to the roster, fresh meat for our mask wearing friend. Will these be totally new counselors walking the trails of Crystal Lake for the first time? Or will we be welcoming back some familiar faces to Camp Blood? Hang around here in our social feeds for the announcement. Now, I would say based on that statement, we are probably getting some new characters from the films and a lot of people are already speculating Fox and Shelly from Friday the 13th Part 3. Since we already know that Gun Media wants to add Fox and the actor that played Shelly, Larry Zerner, has been hanging around the mocap studio and getting involved quite a bit as of recently. So, one can only hope, right? No matter what, I'm excited to take on some new counselors. We also got some more information about the smaller map variants coming soon for Packnack Lodge, Higgins Haven, and Camp Crystal Lake. The site reads, We kept all the counselor stats and Jason abilities and cooldowns the same, but that's about where the similarities end. We didn't simply shrink the map and call it a day. We rebalanced for the smaller map, changed up spawner locations, changed where the parts and cars are, as well as the cabins and camps. You'll still find the bigger structures in familiar locations, but don't get too comfy. Smaller maps might mean you don't have to hunt long to find an item, but it also means Jason has a smaller area to hunt you. So it does look like we are getting a little more than expected from those smaller maps, and this new information does make me quite a bit more excited for those maps. On top of the smaller maps, we also got clarification that there is indeed a new map entirely coming soon. The site reads, Did you guys really think we weren't working on new maps? The previously announced smaller maps were just the start. We have the new maps already in production, with this one coming sooner than you might think. This playable map is ripped straight from the films. Stay tuned to see the reveal of this new map. Now this is extremely exciting news for fans and players, as we have been dying to play somewhere different as the maps are getting a bit old, but it's also great to know that we'll be able to explore a new location taken directly from the films. Also, notice the plural there, films, not film. Not too sure what this means in terms of what to expect for the upcoming map, just something I noticed. Regardless, I'm super excited to see what map is coming, but at this time, there is no determined release date. It also looks like we will have some weekly challenges on the way. 
Not too sure what these challenges will be, or what will come if you complete them, but it will be nice to have some new challenges to take on in the game. Hopefully, they aren't as hard as the ones shown in the example picture on the site, as these ones are nearly impossible in a week's time, including the kill 10,000 counselors while using Sock. That is an insane number that would take an insane amount of time. Now the last bit of news I want to cover actually comes from the Code of Conduct. Most of it remains the same, but there are two new points that came at the end, which read, Logging out or exiting the service during live gameplay. We may track this data over time and issue a temporary ban when a user is determined to have left mid-game too many times. The length of the temporary ban will increase over time if a particular account continues to leave live gameplay, or playing on another person's account to boost that account's status or rank. So, it looks like leaving games mid-gameplay or mid-kill, like a lot of people do, could result in a temporary ban. Hopefully this solves some of the constant issues people have with getting screwed out of Jason kills since players are always leaving mid-kill. It's also worth noting that playing on someone else's account is now a punishable offense, so be careful with that in the future. Alright guys, that pretty much covers it all. I know there's a lot of nudes here and I couldn't be more excited for all the new content coming. No update for single player quite yet, but I'm sure we'll hear more news on that very, very soon. What do you guys think about the new site and updates? Are you excited? Let us know in the comments. But if you enjoyed, make sure you drop a like and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.